What is going on guys, my name is Felix and welcome to my channel Fits with Felix. Uh, today we're going to talk about the trends that I think are going to happen in 2018. So I'd probably say 2017 was probably one of the worst years for streetwear. Um, as far as the like whole concept of streetwear goes, I didn't like it as much. Um, I felt like a few trends came through that were quite cool. But I feel like the whole like culture of streetwear kind of got a bit overblown. And to be honest, I know that's just going to keep growing and growing throughout 2018. Most likely, I think the whole hype beast trend is going to continue, which is kind of disappointing. I kind of wish we left that in 2017, but I don't think it will. The whole like status of Instagram at the moment and how people like to flex everything, the whole flexing thing, I think it's just, it's boring. I'm bored of it now. I don't care if you're wearing a Supreme box logo with a Supreme jacket. I really could not care less. It's no longer like, oh yeah, look how cool my outfit is. Look how much money I've spent on these jackets. And it's really, really boring. And I think there's a lot of people to blame for that. But I did that. that's for another video. I won't even go into that. But to be fair, for the big companies like Supreme, Palace, Gucci even, they've become that sort of like flex sort of item. Um, they've really profited from this whole hype beast trend. So as far as business goes for streetwear, I'd say that that kind of really helped it. But as far as the culture and like, I don't think, I think it's kind of hindered it, but hopefully this whole flexing of what money I have, it goes quickly because I'm really bored of that. It's, it's definitely going to keep growing throughout this year, 2018. As the other day, I think it was on Snapchat actually, on Sky News, they had a whole section about streetwear and hype beast culture. And then on the six o'clock news the other night, again, they had a whole article on this hype beast culture and the reselling culture around Supreme and Palace. Again, I feel workwear will be quite relevant throughout the entirety of 2018. Dickies, Ben Davis, brands like that, I feel will just constantly be there and they've kind of cemented their place in streetwear at the moment. I feel streetwear is really heavily inf influenced no matter what by skatewear. It's kind of where the whole idea of streetwear came from. Um, and I feel that Dickies and Ben Davis have been there from the very beginning. You can go back and watch films from like the 80s and 90s one of my favorite films La Haine and you can see they're wearing that sort of workwear style and I feel that that kind of will always be around in streetwear so again for 2018 workwear will definitely be a trend and that's one trend that I'm kind of happy for because I like workwear it's cool uh, continuing on I feel that techwear and military wear will start to come in a bit more I know it kind of was around in 2017 and 2016 there's brands that are doing a lot more creative stuff with it so I like at the moment Elite Studios did that um, chest rig, which I really, really liked. And there's a lot of Korean brands taking influence from techwear. And I feel that techwear wasn't so big in the past two years, but now I feel like they're going to become a lot more influential. So there'll be a lot more cargo pants, a lot more jackets with loads of pockets on. And brands like C2H4, I think, are really doing well. They're bringing the idea of streetwear and skatewear and techwear into one, and it looks really cool. And I really, really recommend you go have a look at the likes of C2H4. Moving on to another trend, I feel that active wear and kind of sports wear mixed in with streetwear. So sort of that 80s, 90s silhouette of um, sports wear will definitely come back in. I know it was around for the likes of Kappa and Champion, but I feel like vintage Adidas is gonna come back quite well. Um, Gosha is definitely trying to push that. In his most recent collection, he did a whole collection with Adidas and it kind of like old football jackets, old football tops, like coach jackets, trousers and stuff that football fan from the 80s is definitely going to come back um, again if i want to reference lahane again because i feel that it's very very relevant to today's culture that sort of aesthetic um, and track suits i feel will still remain they were around in 2017 um, the whole matching sets and i feel like they'll continue throughout this year and i think track suits are just going to generally continue for this year i don't know how long they'll last but it's, we just kind of have to wait and see uh, the next trend I think will be baggier silhouettes. We obviously have oversized sweatshirts and like baggy trousers that are rolled up, but I feel like having trousers that are like draped over the shoe. Um, I know if there's a photo here of ASAP Rocky wearing the Balenciaga oversized sweatshirt and these massive trousers, not to that extent, but I feel like straight, slow, slim straight trousers that kind of cover chunkier shoes, I feel that will be very relevant. And it's seen in a lot of Balenciaga runways, uh, last season for full winter um, and I feel like it's just going to continue on through 2018. With those baggy silhouettes I feel like one of the main influences for that bag baggy silhouette is Korean fashion. They kind of build around those ideas and kind of push them to the extremes. Korean fashion in general and streetwear culture from Korea 
will kind of make its way over to the West. We've got the likes of BTS and general other K-pop groups kind of making their way over to America and the UK. Like recently we had the Korean Music Festival and in America I know the likes of BTS are definitely making a name for themselves. And I think they've sold, got a sold out tour in America and appeared on the likes of shows like Ellen. So definitely I can see those Korean brands kind of making their way over to the uh, Western sort of streetwear scene. Um, I feel like one major brand at an era that's recently been picked up by a large distribution company and Anderson Bell, as well as No Manual, another youth, Esk Studios, and 87mm will definitely make their way over to the Western streetwear scene. Uh, finally, to finish it all off, I feel like the one big kind of designer label that's going to kind of make their way into streetwear at the next uh, this year, in fact, will be Prada. Um, I know they've done the tracksuit, which is definitely, I've seen a lot of shots on Instagram of that and definitely on Facebook and Twitter of the tracksuit bottoms as well as the shoes. Personally, I think the shoes are absolutely disgusting. I think they call like the cloud somethings but they're absolutely disgusting in my opinion. They, they don't look nice. Um, not my style, but I guess some people can probably pull them off and they probably match the tracksuit, which is probably why a lot of people buy them. So I definitely think that they're gonna make their way the same way sort of Blenciaga and Gucci did for 2016 and 2017. Anyway, that's my opinion on the trends for this year. Um, let me know. Uh, what you think down in the comments below subscribe if you like my content give me a like just let me know if you like it um have a discussion definitely please do because i like to see what everyone's uh thinking for this year and it kind of gives me an idea to create new videos anyway guys thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video see you later guys